to you. Hi, hey, Sophia. Howler. How are you both today? Good. So, so good. I love the show, guys. I'm so excited to chat with you about it. Thank you for taking the time. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. So I want to start off by obviously saying these characters that you're portraying are iconic. I mean, they're so well established. What was your approach like for really bringing yourself to the character and bringing them to life in this whole new story? Go, Sam, go. Oh, yeah. Uh, You know, I've always been like a huge fan of uh, the whole, you know, uh, of like all Hanna-Barbera. And, and you know all things Velma and Freddie and and Shaggy and, and uh, Daphne and Scooby related. Uh, so uh, when, when you know when, when approached by about this, I was I was so excited to to get to uh, reimagine and uh, but also like keep in, in step with the legacy of uh, what Shaggy is and just the approach of of, of like. Of, of having it be something new, but still something that it uh, connects to the original was like a really fun sort of thing to get to do. I just really just kind of took the scripts uh, uh, as my cue, you know, like I, it, when, when you're really lucky, I don't know, Sam, if the, if you have this experience, but like when you're really lucky, you read something and it like what happens to me it, it, again, when I'm lucky is it just kind of comes to me like what, like I just start doing it. I just start doing it. And then I start, and then I examine why I'm doing it. And then I sometimes know why, and sometimes I don't know why, but either way I've run out of time and I just have to do it. Um, uh, But, you know, so, so, uh, you know, it wasn't so much, uh, you know, I mean, I'm like Sam. I mean, I grew up watching Scooby-Doo uh, and love I probably I'm sure I've seen every episode probably three or four times um, over the course of my life. Um, I love the cartoon, but I also love that they gave us freedom to, to to really make it our own. So my my Fred is not, you know, because I asked him again, I'm like, do, does it need to sound like the original Fred? Because I was like, I don't know if I could do that dude's voice. Um <laughs> You know, but they said that didn't matter. So I, I kind of thought like, well, let me have some fun with it. I can't, I kind of came in with something. I thought they were going to be like, well, that's a little crazy. Yeah. But, um, but no, it it was uh, ended up being really, really fun and and um, and a good opportunity to make it somewhat my own, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I'll say that too. Like my, my, uh, my normal is not uh, Casey Kasem <laughs> or Matthew Willard in the least bit. It's, it's not that I'm normal. Was, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's me. And like, just also like when reading the scripts, they were just so funny. And it was just like, as a comedy, it's so good. Uh, mm-hmm. and I enjoyed it so much. So then to get to, get to participate in it and then have it be, uh, you know, uh, in that realm of, of uh, the Scooby-Doo universe or, you know, the Velma universe, uh, I, I just like enjoyed it so much. And like just getting, coming to it uh, was like a joy to like do every table read and I like, yeah. get to work with these guys. I kind of couldn't believe it. I was like, they want me to play Fred? Really? Like, that's, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that's amazing. That's incredible. I have to say yes to this, right? I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. both did incredible. And I want to give you sort of a fun creative question based on obviously we're getting the origin story of Velma. And I love that it's like an adult animated series. Which one of your past roles and characters would you like to see have an animated origin story to? <sighs> animated an origin story i mean an animated origin story for it's always sunny would be pretty pretty yeah fun. <laughs> i can see that yeah, that's funny. So, actually, i did a long time ago you guys remember that show muppet babies yes you remember that show? <laughs> yeah. like we oh, did yeah. we had a joke a long time ago about doing an animated show called sunny babies <laughs> and they, oh you God. know just like taking all those characters and and just like seeing them as like babies <laughs> I I would want to do uh, an animated uh, origin story of Richard Splett, but like uh, like Louis Anderson's uh, or or Bobby's world. Louis Anderson Louis Anderson had like Life of Louis, where it was like his, oh, his yeah. growing up. <laughs> this would be right. like Richard Richard Splett's uh, coming of age, and he's like always like 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 Wonder Years. He's always like explaining it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you both so much for your time. Huge congrats on the show. I can't wait for everyone else to see it. And it's been a pleasure.
just like you Talking about the things that you like too So I invite you to the NOC In full color, you see me? The hard knock life Comics, movies, and TV Yeah, pop culture with a different perspective Watch it on your screen, hit play, so check this